It's SEC baseball from Von Walker Stadium. It's clear, it's cold, but there's sun and there will be baseball. Two, in fact, Ruby says, let's play two, a doubleheader between the McNeese Cowboys and Arkansas Razorbacks. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. He's been so good, and you feel like he's just going to get better and better. He's just got a really bulldog mentality out there on the mound. Here's the and there's a wave and a miss. So a little better start than the last outing Bring when the first, first game was just not being able to grip that baseball very well. Lost him right there. Sure did. Four-pitch walk to Hext. So a little better throw, though, probably picks off Hext. And that's in. That's ball four. So a couple of walks after the strikeout to begin the game. Talking about, then you're a hitter. The one-two. Strike three called. Hagan Smith starts and finishes the inning with Kays. A little bit of traffic in between Troy, but I think he'll take it. 3-0 pitch to Lovich, and that is down, and that is ball four. So Lane. you know he's going to get hot. Ground ball to the left side, filled by Trahan to second for one. On to first, double play, nicely done by the Cowboys so far today. Here's the payoff, and that's down ball four. So that's his third walk. Cowboy runners, like, take a little hop. That's strike three called to Bengal. Next pitch from Hagen on the outside corner. Strike three call. Troy, that's five Ks through two with it. Yeah, he's really starting to feel it now. But he gets to run out their top starters. And that one is popped up. Wins will work this back into no man's land, and it's going to drop for a double. You can see that one coming. First, Trahan didn't have a play. Then Dow didn't have a play. And then I thought, where's Hext? <laughs> he wasn't going to get it. Tough to and handle. Great job by Keaton over Troy, first. this is a great ovation right now. Maybe fans. he can drive in a run in his first at bat of the year. There's a chopper that is cut off by Trahan. Nice play. It's Dobo. Of course he has to race it out. And he gets the infield single, probably hoping that he didn't have to bust it down the line in the first A-B of the year. But he smelled a hit, and he got one. The ball goes in the air that he's not going to advance to third base. And Hudson White will bounce one to short. And for the second inning, Arkansas has rolled into a double play. Pitcher's best friend in the first and second innings for the Cowboys. This is the first grade. <laughs> a little chopper to third. Sprague Lott will throw on the run. McLaughlin applied the tag to Hext. Tell you what, Ben's made two good plays, and I think he lost a little bit of his arm on that effort as well. And he has struck out seven batters through three innings. How about candidates? Yeah, they, they really are. They've been. Swinging the bat well. It's a really good at bat right there by Nolan Seuss, the freshman. A lot of times first you run. see. A chopper to first. Keaton gets a nice big bounce. Waves off of Lejeune. Takes it to the pillow. Unassisted for out number two as Souza advances to third. So get a fastball wow pitch. See what he does though too. A chopper to the left side and it'll sneak through for a base hit. Past Trahan. Scoring is Souza. Aloy has knocked home his Hawaiian buddy and that's the first run of the game. That was smoked off Lejeune. It's going to bounce to the other Lejeune who will make the play at first. That was 107 off the bat. And let's hope Cameron Lejeune is okay. I think he told his teammate he was. 107 off the bat, and you can live to tell about it. That's, That's strike right. three. Eight strikeouts for Hagen Smith. Last 15 and a third innings. Lorenaga will line one to left, and Lovich was shaded over into the gap, but he was able to take that on a bounce, and that is the first hit for the Cowboys, a one-out single here in the fourth inning, which makes it tough. Wave and a miss. Hagen with nine strikeouts through four innings and 38 strikeouts in his last 16. A little bright out there. Two and two to McLaughlin. This one down the line and left, and the ball will bounce, and then it rolls by Hex. It's going to go all the way to the wall. And McLaughlin's had two doubles today, and both balls could have been caught. Neither one was, and he's living right here this afternoon. Fourth inning. Hudson White hit a new double play previously. Strokes one of the gap in right center field. It's down. It's all the way to the fence. Big two-out double from White will score McLaughlin, and Arkansas has taken a 2-0 lead. RBI number seven for White. He and the Hogs need to that one. Scored in the third. Knocked in five as Sousa. Ground ball sharply hit to short. Bobbled by Dow. He got flat-footed with that runner in front of him, Troy, and just didn't uh, attack that baseball quite the way he probably would have. Had Lejeune. Sousa runs. That's going to be a wave and a miss in the inning end. So Arkansas gets the one run and a couple of doubles. 
transfer. The number is for Will. Really good with a 2.08 earned run average. Just throw the cutter. <laughs> Rung up is Trahan by Vic Carell at third. Maybe into that bullpen. It doesn't get any easier with Will McIntyre. Westenberg shoots one into left for a base hit. He's now hitting the 11 straight games. Played back in by Lovich. Second hit for the Cowboys. Strike. And then it might even finish maybe below. Bouncer in a right base hit, so Hext will single. Westenberg with two outs will motor to third base, and there's runners on the corners for the Cowboys. They have the tying runs aboard. Pitch. Here it comes from McIntyre in the air to very shallow center. A play for Wilmsmeyer hitting over. So the Cowboys get a couple of hits. They strand two runners. It's Lovich has made the most of his opportunities in the starting lineup, and as I say that, he will single into center field. So ninth hit in 19 at-bats for the Kansas City area native, the Mizzou transfer. Three hits for the Cowboys today. Four hits for the Cowboys today as Peyton Lejeune singles to right on the first one here in the sixth inning. And then part of it is hitters who know the strike zone. There's a liner over the leap of Souza into right center field. Duhon will chase home Lejeune, a pick and a throw to second base in time to cut down Duhon, but the lead has been cut in half. At the perfect game level? Yes. Slow ground ball to the left side, and that'll be another hit for Arkansas that's been placed in the right spot. Sprague lot with a dribbler that was knocked down. He'll run. Liner into right center field is down. Sprague lot will turn and go to third base. Duhan will fire it back into second. Razorbacks have runners on the corners with one out. To avoid that here and elevate this one run lead. Soft little flare out in the center, dropping base hit. Holt sees one pitch, drives it a run. The throw goes to third. It's not in time. Holt will follow the second, and the Hawks have taken a 3 1 lead. He's been outstanding so far for Arkansas. God's kind of battled a little bit of injury throughout his career, but he definitely has the velocity. Sports shades, right? There's a liner off the bat of Trahan in the center for a base hit. Cowboys have had eight hits to the Razorbacks' nine, and I tell you what, they have fought. When he puts them together like that, it makes them look even bigger. That's ball four, so X does get the walk after all of that anyhow, and now there's a couple. And that is ball four. So, yeah, they're going to go with the freshman, Gabe Gackle, and he is really special. He's going to throw that fastball 95-96. Lejeune will wave and miss. So Gackle gets a much-needed K for out number two of the inning. Teammates out there now. Soft ground ball to third. Sprague lot throwing on the run. The inning is over. How about the job by Gackle out of the bullpen? Well, he walked in a run, and it was 9-7, and I thought maybe. He might not finish. There's a big bouncer to Peyton Hold, and then he dropped it, and he throws to first to still get Dowell, and the Hawks have to feel fortunate on that. Well, but I might, and this will not help here, this uh, this angle, but. Uh, wow, I think he's, I think he's safe. I think he's safe as well. Out on the field will be on the turn. Maybe two balls, two strikes to the pinch hitter, Stroh. Wave and a miss. Arkansas pitcher's not bashful about picking up the strikes. And mile high pop up. Peyton Holt starts drifting. Diggs is really deep. So someone's got to catch it, and it's only Holt. And then Diggs caught Holt. Inning ends. There does not cost the Hogs a run. And that one's on the corner for strike three. You frustrate them so much. Hudson White with a soft little pop up. You could catch this one with your bare hands. Lejeune will use the glove. That's not fun. Hawks go quietly in the eighth. We go to the ninth. To that roll, I think Gaggle, Gackle is trying to find a similar rhythm, and then he does give up the base hit to Westenberg. So here come the Cowboys. They'll bring the tying run of the plate. In the, there goes the runner, and there's your ground ball. Holt will make the play, throw out Hex. That's the first out of the inning. To Chase Keaton. Gackle's pitch. He gets the wave and a miss. Another strikeout without turning Play. around. And this might cost him here because that's shallow and he has to come racing in, but he'll get there and make the catch. And the game is over. The Razorbacks win it 3-1. to one. 
The Cowboys leave 12 men on base and strike out 15 times, and the Hogs outlast the Cowboys in the opener. Just a really great pitching performance by both ball clubs. And again, you saw that with the score three to one. But this is going to be a tough game and tough weekend for Arkansas with these McNeese Cowboys.